Jacoby Myers is the best wide receiver in this upcoming free agent class. He joined the Patriots as an undrafted free agent in 2019, and he's never eclipsed a thousand yards receiving, but he's been consistently productive, especially over the last three seasons. Last year, he played just under 70% of his snaps from the slot, so he has some versatility to line up in different spots depending on the formation. Whichever team signs him is most likely looking at him as primarily a slot receiver. Before we get into the video, make sure to like and subscribe. Also follow us on all of our social medias. You can find the links to those in the description below. And Jacoby Myers is the definition of a security blanket at wide receiver. On 93 targets last season, he only had one drop, which translates to a 1.5% drop rate. So he has extremely reliable hands, but he also has great body control. He's really good at making tough catches along the sideline or in the back of the end zone. And then he also ranks sixth among qualifying receivers in contested catch rate at 56.5%. So he's a player that if you get him the ball accurately, he's almost always gonna catch it. And that's crucial for a receiver like Jacoby Myers, who isn't necessarily the most dynamic playmaker. He's not going to add a ton after the catch or get consistently open on the outside, but you know that if you're getting him the ball, that's a high percentage play for your offense. And for any team that needs a go-to weapon on third down, I think Jacoby Myers could be a great option. Over a third of Jacoby Myers' targets last year came on third down, and he had a 58.3% success rate, which ranked ninth in the NFL. So pretty much any metric that you look at that translates to reliability, Jacoby Myers is going to rank in the top 10. And he isn't the best athlete, but he's a really polished route runner and his technique allows him to create consistent separation from the slot. This is a really nice play on fourth down and one. He's lined up on Tredavious White and he's running a pivot route. So he's gonna slow play faking this quick slant to the inside and then he drops his hips, breaks out to the sideline and gets a first down. And he has a lot of success running routes that have three parts. So you can see on this play against Vegas, he starts out with foot fire to close the distance between himself and the corner. And then he gives a jab step inside so the cornerback thinks that his initial release was setting up the slant route. And then he gives a second break outside and has unlimited space in the corner of the end zone. Myers has a great understanding of where defensive backs are vulnerable, and he does a great job threatening that area of the field throughout the process of his route to manipulate the defender's hips and body position. So on this play against New York, he's got this defensive back with his hips turned to the sideline, and he's playing with pretty heavy inside leverage, but Jacoby Myers' route is breaking to the inside, so he gives a few shuffle steps to the outside at the top of his stem, and then swims through with the inside hand to prevent the DB from establishing contact. And then I also really like his technique against off coverage. Right here, he's got Martin Emerson playing with outside leverage. He starts his route slanting towards the inside to maintain that initial separation. And then at the top of his route, he comes to balance, threatens the outside to freeze Martin Emerson and allow him to create easy separation on his inside break. And then later in the game against a different cornerback that's playing the same technique, he sells the same in-breaking route, but you can see this corner's overcommitted to defending the inside. So this time at the top of the route, he breaks outside and gets wide open. Another great release on third and short right here. He gives a jab step inside, plants his foot, sends the cornerback flying, and then as he's breaking outside, he pulls back his chest to avoid the hand contact from this corner. When a DB gets faked out of the line of scrimmage, the first thing he's gonna do is throw up the catch hand and try to get back in phase, but Jacoby Myers does a great job of manipulating his body in subtle ways to avoid contact at the line of scrimmage. On this play against Pittsburgh, he's got press coverage, he's quick at the line of scrimmage, and he doesn't overextend himself, so he's within reaching distance of the corner. He maintains enough space to avoid contact, and then he uses what's called the stair step technique, which is when a receiver has outside leverage, and he's running an in-breaking route. Once he gets on the inside hip of this corner, he gives a few steps upfield to sell the vertical route, and that forces the corner to recover vertically instead of recovering inside. Jacoby Myers is running a dig route right here, but Akella Witherspoon thinks he's running a go or a deep corner, so he doesn't end up recovering in the direction that the route's actually going. He uses the same technique on this play against Detroit, actually creates more separation here. The corner's playing with outside leverage, he gets the inside release, and then at the top of the route, he accelerates and really sells that vertical route, and then he plants the outside foot and breaks inside. So in my opinion, Jacoby Myers is clearly the best available receiver in free agency. PFF has him projected to get four years, 16 million a year, which might be a little bit too rich for me, but receiver's a position where the good ones usually don't hit free agency. So if that's where you're finding your receivers, you're pretty much going to always have to overpay for them. And when you look at the other available free agents in this class, Juju Smith-Schuster, Odell Beckham, Michael Thomas, there's a lot of guys that have had either really inconsistent production or major injury issues. And so Jacoby Myers is the only free agent that I feel really confident will be productive no matter what team they go to. Thanks for watching. If you enjoy the video, make sure to like and subscribe. Also, let me know in the comments any other free agents that you'd like me to cover.